So welcome back everybody. What was it? A couple of weeks ago we were out in the garden planting potatoes and it was something like 60 degrees and this morning I get up it's 28 and 29. The weather just can't seem to make up its mind. But you know it happens this way every year and we're just kind of caught off guard by it for some reason. But anyhow, uh, for today's video you can see behind me we've got a bunch of raw materials laying around. Yesterday we got on the mill and we milled out the raw materials, some six by sixes and two by fours for the log deck or log ramp or whatever you want to call it. Our last video saw some struggles with getting logs on the mill in a safe manner and I really don't want to have to do that anymore. It put a lot of strain on the tractor and it was fairly dangerous and I just don't want to have to do that anymore. I want to put a ramp on this thing with a winch and see if we can get a little bit of a safer and easier alternative to the tractor putting stuff on this mill. So let's go ahead and get started. I think I've got a good idea in my head we'll just see how it works and um, I certainly hope you enjoy watching it. So I hope you can see this through the sunlight in the lens but these are the two center support posts for the mill right here. This one right here and this one right here. My plan is to, uh, I've got some telephone poles, some old pressure treated telephone poles and my plan is to, hey, my, pl my plan is to sink a couple of those, shorten a couple of those and put them in the ground right about here and over here and use those as the support post for some six by six timbers that'll serve as a staging area that I can put maybe three logs on. So I won't have to winch a log up onto the ramp every single time. So there'll be a ramp in a flat area uh, so, that, so that we can stage logs. Uh, one thing we're gonna have to be very cognizant of is where this mill head runs. Obviously we don't want the timbers, we, won't, we don't want this hitting the timbers as it comes through. You know, if it hits the timbers, we've, we've wasted our time. So we're gonna have to be cognizant of where this is and how it rides. And that's just something we'll have to sort out as we're going. So let's go ahead and get started and see what we can get done.
half inch off a square is not bad.
So guys, I know that was a lot of time lapse footage, but a lot of this is just real tedious stuff that would have taken, it would have been a really long video and boring if I had put it all in. But anyway, I wanted to let you know what I just did. Um, I got these ramps in and they're just the same six by sixes that I put up here. And I just cut angles on the top and on the post and on the bottom side to make everything, to make it a ramp so there wouldn't be any harsh uh, drop-offs and, and places where the winch would have trouble getting the log over a big hump. Now what I did right here so there wouldn't be any ground contact, I put a pressure treated fence post about 18 inches long in the ground. The other one is a little bit longer but maybe about 18 inches long in the ground and this timber is resting on top of that and what I'm gonna do is uh, put gravel around that so this non-pressure treated timber won't have any ground contact at all. So these ramps actually serve two purposes. Aside from being the ramps for the logs to get up onto the mill and the log deck, they're actually also the brace post since, um, the brace post for the winch. Since this is gonna be attached to a post in the ground, there's gonna be a lot of stability right down here at the bottom. And the winch is gonna be winching from the front side of this log deck so there's going to be a lot of pressure pulling on this log deck. This right here will counteract that pressure and serve as a brace.
Guys, in case you were wondering, I don't actually change clothes in the middle of these videos. Sometimes it takes me a couple of days to finish these projects, and that's just how it works out. But there's nothing left to do now except try it. The winch is mounted, uh, the gravel is in, the ramp is, is pretty well complete. We're just going to have to see how it works. The very first log here is a pine log. It's really not the best one, the best candidate to try to test this with because it's oblong. It's smaller at one end than it is at the other and also it's kind of curved but I mean I guess if it works with a terrible log it'll work with a good log. So let's go ahead and uh, get the cable wrapped around it and see what happens. Well, that really just worked uh, way too well. I am extremely, extremely satisfied with that. The only issue that I saw, there was absolutely no give whatsoever uh, to this uh, ramp system. The only thing that had a little bit of give in it was this timber right here, and that really doesn't surprise me. It's only a five by six, and it's pretty long without any reinforcement in the middle. So I kind of suspected that it would do that. The problem is it's kind of got some heart in the middle of it, like, a, like a, it, was, it was essentially a cat eye pine tree. It's got some of that real hard heart pine right here in the middle, and that's a really weak spot. So what I'm going to do is put a true 2x6 up under it just to brace it and give it a good bit of added strength, and I think that that will solve, uh, solve that little problem.
guys, that's all I've got for today's video. I really, I'm gonna go ahead and declare this a raging success. That is going to make my life a lot easier and simpler and cut out a whole lot of stress and strain on the tractor and make the mill a lot more capable because as we saw last week, there's a lot of times where, where you know, I had the potential to waste wood because I just couldn't get the logs on the mill with the length that they were. And now that's really a non-issue. Everything's gonna be able to get on the mill. The mill will be able to reach its maximum capacity and I'm just I'm just thrilled with it. I can't believe how good it turned out. But I really appreciate y'all watching. Um, thank y'all also for 40,000 subscribers. I cannot believe that 40,000 of y'all think this channel is entertaining enough to subscribe to it and keep getting those notifications. But from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate y'all watching and subscribing. Before y'all get out of here, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you next time.